and you are live. All right, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Dr. J here, physical therapist, chronic pain specialist, here with another training, um, another mobility training on the lower back. Okay. By request, there have been a lot of people having some low back pain. Maybe you're sitting at home, maybe you're waking up and you're feeling a lot of pain getting out of your bed and it takes you a little while to warm up. Or maybe in general, just at the end of the day, after a long day of work, um, you're having some low back pain, maybe a lot of stress has been going on. So I'm going to break it down into three steps. I got nine different exercises today. All you really need is, you don't need a foam roll, but I'm going to go through a foam roll variation. You need a chair or a couch. You can use either one to something to leverage yourself against. And we're going to break it down into three columns. So firstly, breaking down the thoracic spine and how the thoracic spine is right above the lower back, the lumbar spine. Then we're going to address the lumbar spine directly and make sure that we get that area freed up. And then we're going to address the hip and the pelvis. Okay. Addressing this as like blocks, right? Like a Rubik's cube is going to help you to free up your lower back. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is a couple thoracic exercises. The first thing I'm going to do is a foam roll thoracic extension. Okay. So what I'm going to do with my foam roll is I'm going to get to the floor and I'll demonstrate it kind of like from a side view. I'm going to track it down on my mid back here. I'm going to support my head, lift my butt just slightly so it's off the floor. And I'm just going to roll back and forth from the base of my neck to my mid back. Okay. And I'm just starting here 15, 20, 30 seconds at best just to prime some of those tissues. And these paraspinals also attach directly to your lower back too. So getting this area freed up is really gonna help. Okay, next thing we'll do is we'll drop our butt down and we're going to bend backwards and get that part of the spine moving. Realistically, you can't isolate any part of your spine. So this is also getting some lower back movement as well. And then finding, just rolling and finding what feels comfortable. Let's say this spot feels stiff and stay in that spot for a little bit, or repeat. Okay, I can stay down here for five seconds, or I can just repeat in those areas. And find different spots, okay? Just hunt for the spots, okay? So once you get the foam roll, now my upper back feeling a little bit better. Now I'm gonna do what I call either a couch-assisted or a chair-assisted thoracic extension exercise, okay? So now I'm gonna grab the edges of a chair, or I'm going to grab a couch, spread your knees apart. Okay, the farther your knees are from the chair, the more stretch you're going to get. Okay, so it depends on you. Okay, I want more stretch. I'm going to bring those knees further back, I'm going to rock back, and I'm going to force my chest down towards the ground, then come back up, force it down even further, and then exhale. Okay, just going to repeat this about eight to ten times. Three. Four. And if this is hurting your shoulder, make sure more of your arm is supported by the chair or the couch, okay? So that feels like much less in my shoulder. That's more of my upper back. And I'm gonna go one more repetition. And really force your chest bone down towards the ground, get a nice stretch. And then come on back. Right, so the last area of this Rubik's Cube, this thoracic spine area, we're gonna do a sideline thoracic rotation exercise, okay? I'm gonna perform just about five to six on each side for time purposes. So I'm gonna lie on this side. I'm gonna bring my, my leg up, okay? I'm gonna put my hands here, and I'm going to rotate and follow my thumb, okay? My eyes will follow my thumb, and my head will follow wherever my hand goes. Okay, try to go as far as you can. Try to reach the floor on the other side. Three. And four. And then five. Some of you guys might need more, but you guys can watch this over and over again for your time purpose. So I'm going to do this again. Pro tip for the thoracic rotation exercise is when you're rotating, try to Squeeze your right shoulder blade back and then go. Okay, you're going to feel a little bit more stretch between the shoulder blades if you squeeze the shoulder blade back and then rotate. Okay, so I'm going to squeeze the shoulder blade, rotate three, 
Squeeze shoulder blade. Four. And one more time. Squeeze shoulder blade. Rotate. Follow the thumb. And five. All right. So now that we got the thoracic spine moving, let's do some lumbar movements. So what we're going to do is a lumbar extension to a toe tap. And we're going to do about six to eight repetitions. So how that goes is make sure the chair is out of the way. So lumbar extension is this type of movement, okay? So we're going to go into lumbar extension. And then we're going to go here, touch the opposite toe, and touch the opposite toe, okay? Then you repeat. So if you don't have that much flexibility, widen your stance, widen your leg stance. I'm going to go to lumbar extension, look up towards the ceiling. One, one, okay. And two, two. So it's a three part movement. Lumbar extension, three, three. Lumbar extension, four. Four. So that's too hard. If you can't balance on one arm, just go into a pipe or a down dog. That's all that's needed. So I'm going to do this because it gets my lumbar spine moving in a different way. Five. Six. Seven. And then eight. And we're good to go. All right. So the next exercise here is called a prone scorpion. So this is working on getting more extension of the lower back, as well as getting a little bit more rotation from that middle column, from the lumbar spine. Okay. So prone scorpion combines both. Just be careful when you swing your leg over, just go as far as you feel comfortable, okay? The way the prone scorpion goes, let me just make sure chair and everything are out of the way. So the way the prone scorpion looks is this, okay? I'm just gonna rest my head on my hands, okay? I'm gonna bend my knee, I'm gonna perform a donkey kick, a donkey kick up, and then rotate over, keeping the elbows down against the ground, and that's one. Bend this knee, donkey kick up, rotate over, try to touch that heel toward the floor, two. All right, that's one, okay? And we're just gonna repeat. Two. Two. Kick up, three. Three. Four, and really loosen up the lower back with a little bit of extension, a little bit of rotation. Five, I think I lost count a little bit. Six, six, I'm going to go seven, I'm going to stop at eight, seven, seven, and one more time. Kick up nice and high for this one, get a little bit more extension, eight. Kick up as high as you can on this one. And eight. All right. So go with the ones that feel good, guys. Okay. Don't go too far, especially if you are not doing this a lot. Okay. Just go up to your comfort range. That means you can lessen the range of motion. You can lessen up the repetitions. You can always modify workouts according to you know your status and your mobility. Okay. So the last, the last lumbar exercise is a hip flexor stretch to a side bend. So very easy to do. All you got to do, I'll show you from a front view than a side view. So what you're going to do is you're going to rock back. You're going to pelvic tilt. That means round your pelvis backwards, rock forward. And once you rock forward, you're going to side bend towards the front leg. Okay, if it's at the front leg to the right, I'm going to side bend to the right. Okay, show you from this view. So very important that you understand the mechanics, okay? Rock back, round your pelvis. And you, I'm like I'm rounding my lumbar spine. I'm gonna squeeze my left cheek, rock forward. You should feel a stretch right on the front of your thigh. 
And then you're going to stipe as far as you can and reach for the opposite corner of the room. Okay. And I'm going to repeat three times, three more times, and then I'm going to switch legs. Okay. One more time from this side, or two more times from this side. Rock forward, squeeze your left tush, side bend, and stretch out the entire lateral chain. Okay. Rock, pelvic tilt. Nice, strong stretch. And then repeat. Okay, I'm gonna do it on this side now. So I'm gonna rock back. Squeeze the glutes on the way up. That's one. Rock back, pelvic tilt. Squeeze your right cheek. And two. Okay, if you don't squeeze your cheeks, you're not gonna, you're not gonna feel as much of a stretch across the lateral chain, okay? I can go really far this way if I'm not contracting anything, squeeze your glutes, okay? Squeeze the right glute, right glute squeeze, much better stretch. Pelvic tilt, squeeze the glutes, squeeze, and four. Pelvic tilt, rock forward. And we're good to go. All right, guys, hopefully lumbar spine, upper back shouldn't feel good. Now the last part is we're addressing that lower column. So it's gonna be the hips as well as the pelvis, okay? Addressing lit like a Rubik's cube from thoracic spine, directly addressing lumbar mobility, then hip and pelvic mobility. Lower back should be feeling good after this, okay? So first one we're gonna do is a half kneeling groin rock back, okay? So how we're gonna do this one is we're gonna start off in a quadruped position. We're gonna bring that leg out to the side. You can bring that leg out to the side slightly forward if you want to for a little more stretch. Now I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna rock back, okay? And that we should be feeling the stretch in through our groin and in through the opposite hip, okay? So I can spread those knees or those legs a little further. I'm gonna bring that knee further out to the side. And that's an even stronger stretch for sure. Okay, just so we do eight to 10 on this side, three, or feel free to pat up your knees, guys. If you can't tolerate the knee against the floor, just pat it up with a pillow. Five. Ooh, that's a good stretch. Six. Change up the angle if you want to. Feel a little different stretch. Seven. Change up that leg again. Eight. Nine. And 10. Okay, that's a nice dynamic stretch. We're gonna repeat on this side. Knee down, bring that leg out to the side. And one, rock back. Two, change up the angle if you want to or bring that knee further apart. Three, four, bring that knee even further. I can go a little more of a stretch. That's a good stretch, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. All right, groin's feeling good. Now we're gonna go into 90-90 hip rotation. Show you a couple variations. First thing you're gonna do is sit on the floor. You're gonna bring that knee out, bring the knee, so a 90 degree angle, knee, 90 degrees of knee flexion, 90 degrees of hip flexion. This leg is also gonna be at a 90 degree angle here. Okay, so you can see my positioning right here. Okay, in order to make this harder and to gain better mobility, you wanna keep your hands in the air and not hold onto anything. You wanna make it even harder, grab onto a small weight and keep it in front of your chest. Okay, if you can't tolerate this, keep those hands on the floor and that's perfectly fine. We're gonna to rock towards the front leg, okay? Rock towards this leg as well, okay? And then we're gonna switch, okay? You can either switch with your hands down, I'm gonna switch, okay? And then we're gonna go here, rock towards the front leg, and then rock towards the back leg, okay? Switch again, okay? Rock towards the front, 
rock towards here. And you're expected to get, you, you're, everyone's expected to have less movement going into internal rotation versus external rotation. So don't feel bad that you can't go as far. Okay, there's more bony blockage here on this side and switch again. Do this about two more times. Rock forward. Feel myself boosting up a little bit. Okay, put your hands down if it's too hard. Five. And five. And go one more time. And then end it on this side. Now, this is something that seems extremely hard to you. It might be your body's way of saying that you need to work on it. Okay. So that's the 90 90 hip rotation right there. Okay. Keep your hands supported. Eventually, let go of the ground and just have your hands tense in the air. Eventually, you can hold on to a kettlebell, a dumbbell, some sort of exercise to make the hips work even harder. All right. The last exercise here is a great one that I kind of made up. So it's a quadruped rock back. But from the end range rock back position, we're going to go into a cat cow. So I'll show you how that's done. This will be the last exercise. So you're going to spread those knees apart, whatever you can tolerate. I'm going to spread up apart as much as I can. I'm going to rock back. And sometimes you even need your elbows on the floor to rock back even further. I'm going to just keep my hands here. And once I'm in that stretch position, once I can really feel it in my hip crease, okay. Now I'm going to go into a cat cow from this end range position, round and then arch. Round and then arch. Okay. Exhale on the round. Three, four, round. This feels really intense. Five. Just decrease that intensity by just rocking forward if you want to, okay? I'm going to bring that butt back as far as I can, though. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And last one, go into that nice little arch. Bring that belly button towards the ground. Force towards the ground. Round as hard as you can. And then arch again. All right, and rock back, alleviate yourself. If you're feeling any low back tightness, sometimes that's common. That's not a bad thing. You feel great and the low back feels better. That's awesome. If your low back feels a little tight, your hips feel a little tight, always, you can always just kind of rest it up, go into, a, go into this type of position, a sphinx pose. Then you can go into a little bit of child's pose. You can just repeat that movement, very gentle, pretty easy to do, okay? Other than that, I mean, if your back's feeling a little bit stiff, it's just your way of saying, hey, you got to work on this a little bit more. All right, so that's it for today, guys. If you guys have any questions at all, just let me know. But hopefully, as you can see, thoracic spine, lumbar spine, hip and pelvis, very, very comprehensive approach towards getting rid of the low back pain. Of course, it's a very general exercise that is not specific to any case of you know, lumbar discomfort or sciatica or anything like that. Just a very generalized program to get everything moving. Uh, moving, I'm sorry. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Take care.